back where it all started in pixel piece hey guys this is leafy please make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and also go down in the description and join the discord server i will be giving help in games like project slayers and pixel piece since i know most of the people watching this are obviously pixel piece players um this is where you spawn and i'm going to be showing you guys a leveling guide on how to reach max level noob 2 pro let's get started in this video i will also be showing the name of the islands you will need to be at for certain levels level requirements where you're going to be grinding what bosses you're going to want to be grinding and the shops for each island and what you're going to want to get what you could get what you're not going to want to get and just showing you guys the way around this game so you can become a pro the store for the first island is right over here the spawn is right over there you're going to want to come in the store and basically just buy everything in it classic katana is good for you rowboat you're going to need it show pose you're going to need it pixel pose you're going to need it and then if you don't want to buy the show pose there's an easy solution uh shows town is exactly southwest it's right over there in that direction so you could just grab a robo and just make your way all right guys so the first quest you're going to want to do is going to be gabby's quest which you can find right in front of the spawn it's just a couple bandits and you're going to want to kill them all the way up until level 10 is the next level requirement and here's azalea it is located in pixel piece island which is the spawn island this is where the last quest was and you're just going to kill this guy up until you reach level 20 where you can talk to the next person also known as sophia and she gives you the quest to kill this bandit boss so you just kill him you rotate this a while you do this you rotate that a while until he spawns and then you kill him again and then you just rinse and repeat until all right guys so once you reach such town you're gonna want to come to the bird right here uh get your spawn point so the first quest is level 25 you're gonna kill these guys all the way up until you reach level 35 right you're gonna want to talk to this guy and you're gonna want to kill the swordsmen uh they're called swordman sailors all right and then you're gonna do that until you reach level 45 you can kill these guys they drop marine hat which is pretty cool you know you're gonna want to get it and then at level 45 you can kill it's right over here this big fat guy captain morgan okay guys so the store for shellstown is right up here you guys can probably find it on your own but the store's right here what you're going to want to get is um cla uh, classic cutlass the caravel orange pose and that's pretty much it now if you don't want to buy orange pose uh you're just going to want to come right here and then once you're on the docks just go straight in between southeast and south you'll find orange town okay guys so this is the docks for pixel peace orange island you're going to talk to this guy who is level 55 which is the next level requirement to kill his kids they're spread out around the village right uh the most common place is this area this is where most of them spawn Next up, once you reach level 65, you can start doing his quest and killing the Kabaja guy. And then after that, you're going to come to the middle building. You always see like a light above it. And you need to reach level 75 so you can start killing Buggy, which I recommend to do with friends because he is a little tough to kill. You can solo him once you're max, or not max, but like a higher level. And swords don't work on him. It's actually smart. Even if you have hockey, stores don't work on him, which that part doesn't make sense, but that's fine. The store is you walk right down through docks up until this little green place, and then you teleport in. And then here is the store. So the things you can buy from it are the syrup log post. You can buy a NAR boat. You can talk to this guy who... Um, who's good, ma. Dreamy like YTs. Next up, you're going to want to come to the docks for Orange Town and go straight, pretty much not straight. It's just right in between like northeast and east, just a little bit more towards east. But Syrup Village is pretty good, so you could probably like go all the way over here, still see it. Go all the way over here and still see it. But just remember to try to get like the third, the third dot. It's like right under that. All right, guys. So once you come into the docks, they are right here. Orange Town is over there. You're just going to want to come up the ramp and this is where this is why you want to save up right something very important is over here uh right here this is actually 
the one and only Gepo Trainer. It cost, I believe, just just have like 10k, right? Because I'm not sure how much it cost. But basically, this is uh, where you can get your spawn point. And to get the quest is right over here. You need to be level 85. That is the next level requirement. And you're just going to kill all these guys, right? And if you want to get one SS, you got to come all the way around. You can just jump off here. right? You can just walk up in that cave, climb up a little bit, and you'll find um, one SS trainer. Once you are done killing all those other bozos and you reach level 115, you're going to want to talk to Tony. You could. What I like to do was I, I'd group them all up, right? I'd get Bo up after they all did their M1s because they, they like do it um, all together in sync. So you just like group them all up, jump up, jump down, and just M1 them all. And then you could repeat that with a friend or just do you. So this is right here, one of the best bosses to farm for money. You are going to want to talk to this person once you're level 125 and up. And he's actually very wall comboable, and you could like just block most of his moves. Um, at least it was during like three months ago in testing phase. I haven't tested it recently. The next place you're going to want to go is shark park so basically all you got to do is here are the docks you can just come right here once you pass this rock you're gonna go the first dot after south okay guys so my log post did lie but it's still i would still recommend to get to level 225 before you get here because it will obviously just help out a lot so there's one npc but this he's not really the starter one that you're gonna want to do you're just gonna want to keep running all the way over here and this is one of the guys, but it's not the one that you need to do first. The one that you need to do first is this guy, which you can do at level two, uh, 210. You're going to want to kill the thieves. They're going to come after you. All these guys, you just group them up and then kill them. Jump up, get low, easy, bam, bam. After that, you're going to want to go all the way back. And once you're level 250, I believe, you're just going to want to, you could probably reset. Yeah. And then you're gonna wanna talk to this guy, kill all of these guys, you group them up, do the same thing. Wang, wang, really easy, right? After you do that, once again, you go all the way back until you're level, once you're level 290, and now you just gotta grind here for, what? what is it, like 10 more levels? You just gotta kill these guys, they're corrupted marines. So that's pretty much everything uh, for all the bosses that you're going to want to grind. It's definitely just going to be Arlong for, you know, just XP, weapons and stuff. You're going to want to grind Buggy for all his out for his cape, scarf, and hat, which I'm pretty sure are the best items in the game. And by the time the game releases, there will be a lot more things added to the game. But this is just like um, a head start that you guys are definitely going to want to get. So please make sure to share this to your friends. Uh, this also shows all the directions to the places. So it's a, it's a pretty good thing so you don't have to go map and map. Guess what side the dikes, the docks are on. So you have to like, you know, do the math or whatever and see where you're going to end up. You could just replay my video and find where you're going to want to go. And that's pretty much it. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here. And if you're not new, still like and subscribe. Make sure to join the Discord in the description. And peace.